Let's see. Do we want to do one more new story, or do, you just, or do we just want to jump into what we've been playing? I want to talk about what, what we've been, been playing. <laughs> Corey, go ahead and lead the charge with Elheim. I gotta use the bathroom. All right. Well, Corey, on that we note. can take over this pod. This no, 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 no. I can still hear you. <laughs> go. Quick, go, Corey, hack into go. his system. Hack it to the mainframe. Talk about, talk about, <laughs> talk about Kingdom Kingdom Hearts. Corey, go. <laughs> Um, no, so I what I'm currently been playing um, pretty uh, it started. I started out pretty obsessively playing, but uh, lately I've been kind of teetering off a little bit more um, is uh, I've been playing. This is now a Kingdom Hearts show, says Cog Shrimp. <laughs> that's, that's me. Nerd. Um, that's, no, I, that's me. I, I'm currently playing a lot of Valheim, uh, just kind of going through that. Uh, even though the game itself is like pretty much only 40% done because it's a early access game, it's still really, really fun. And it's it's even more fun with p- more people. And it's just like Minecraft, but with Vikings. Um, and it looks pretty and everything. Uh, and I'm just, yeah, I'm having a great time with it. I'm having, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, kind of just open world game that is slowly but surely getting better and i can't wait to see the finished product um i know you keep wanting me to play it with you i really do because it's so much fun jose i don't under i know you're trying to get your backlog done and everything but it's really just a great game to just relax with and enjoy in your free time Um, i'm willing to do it specifically because it's you because i know those kinds of games aren't necessarily up my alley yeah, and it's like, I mean, if you, whenever, you, I, I don't like playing by myself. Like, if I play by myself, I'll maybe spend, like, one or two hours on it at the very most. But if I'm playing with a friend, oh, I, I'll be on it all day. Like, I, I, I will be on it all day long. Um, other than that, I have been playing at Dead of Night on my stream. And I have been bonked a total of about 15 times in that game define bonked uh so in this game you basically are exploring an old hotel uh and you are using this uh spirit talking device to talk to the ghosts uh that live in the well live in this hotel Wait, what Um, game is this again at dead of night and there is a crazy guy who runs the hotel named jimmy who did horrible things as a, who did horrible things as a child and uh when he grew into an adult and so you're you're basically talking to the ghosts of the of his victims um and you're trying to solve all of the mysteries of of how they unfortunately died uh while also trying to avoid Jimmy from taking his big old, his 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 big old cricket bat and bonking you right on the head <laughs> this has this has some freaking uh, psycho vibes to it Oh yeah, major this, psycho vibes in, and shining this vibes. FM, FMV game. So is there like cutscenes with like actors? Yeah, actors? no, it's real. It's real actors. Hell oh, yeah! I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> so it's real actors are filmed, and it's three D environments. Um, it's very fun. It's very fun. I'm having such a good time. And so Monday is like where I'm going to be finishing it on stream because we're like literally at like the last chapter, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much what I've what I've been playing. Otherwise, how uh, much how much is that on Steam, by the way? Currently, I think it is like fifteen dollars, if I'm not mistaken. It's that's not, not too, too much. bad. It's not too much now. Oh, question for you, since you probably know the answer. When's the new um, map coming out for Devour? I, I would love to get uh, into another game I, of that. I do not know. I do not know. I keep up with the updates as much as possible. Currently, the most recent update for Devour is they released some uh, uh, some um, working kind of like working artwork uh, for the new um, person that we're going to be avoiding in the next in the next level, which is an asylum. Um, we don't know what the release date is, but they are a small team hard at work on the next level. And all we know is that the next level takes place in Asylum, and Molly, the redheaded girl who is actually the main character from the first chapter, or the first level, is now the person who's hunting you in there's, this next level. There's some concept art I'm going to go ahead and post yeah. in the uh, chat. That's... Um... That's, that's directly from the source uh, news page for it. So that's the most recent post was the concept art from Molly's character having been 
taken over by some sort of demonic entity. I don't know if they're going to have a new character introduced um, because there's usually four characters. Um, so that that might be interesting. Maybe they'll, maybe it'll be a nurse or a doctor or like a uh, or in like an orderly of the hospital that is like a new character. Um, that that would be nice to get someone other than a cult member involved. <laughs> Can I possibly tempt you with State of Decay? Uh, yes, because I love State of Decay. I have I played a good portion of the second one. Oh, nice. We okay. You're already familiar. We we got to do it now, dude. I'm excited for State of Decay three. Are you kidding? Let, we let's play on freaking. Uh, I don't know what the party's difficulty is or whatever, but just like <laughs> everyone, everyone can die in a second, and it's beautiful. We can it's lose good, all. It, if we lose everyone, fun, it's game over. It's a really fun survival game, uh, and I I only played it a co- uh, a good handful of times because I never really had anybody to play it with. Um, but it, it's a very fun survival game. I am very down to start a new community with you. Yes, let's do it. One thing I will say about Devour, just from looking on the Steam page. Wait, wait, is Ish, like, it, what is Ish wearing? Oh, he's in a bear onesie. Tell him to come here. I want to see. Uh, Ish, you are beckoned to come here in your bear onesie. Me? Yes, you. You are live on this podcast. <laughs> wait, I need to see. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Right. So we have a track like, panda and so we have a, like, a brown bear. <laughs> Hold so on, let me like see the one guys will say there you go about uh i love you guys so much <laughs> i'm so deprived so i apologize if i'm not to my hundred percent you guys look beautiful i i miss murdering you in among us he says he misses murdering you in among us oh yeah we should get back on that mm-hmm uh, the one thing I will say, just from looking at the Steam page, because I've only heard about this from what you talked about, Corey, mm-hmm. um, is that because, like, you know, when like indie indie horror games come out and they're just like forgotten about, and like the indie team never. Oh about yeah, them. it's like they burn out, they I burn brightly, and this. then yeah. Yeah, the one thing I will say is that they seem to be updating enough to where they're they're like at least letting people know, like, hey, and, and like they're telling people, they're like, we are a small team. They're like, we're just letting you people know, we yeah, are. Yeah, no, team. they this are. Might not come out as fast as you as you think it will. I'm I like because I feel like um Scorn's team is doing this too, and Scorn only has like ten people working on that really? damn game. So it's like, yeah, oh, oh, wow. oh yeah, Scorn only has like ten to fifteen people working on that damn damn game. Like That's one incredible. guy's doing doing combat creation, game de- uh like graphic development and like level design. So it's like at least I, I like when teams are like honest, when they're like, hey look, thank you for supporting this. We know you guys want this now. We are a small team. We know that this is not gonna come out as fast as you think it's going to. Like I right. like the trans the 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 transparency from them. That's really good. Like that's a good image. That's, that's why good, I think. Like, hey. That's why I think that the the three main multiplayer games that are still like really strong right now are are Among Us, um, Phasmophobia, and Devour. I think those are probably the three strongest like very inexpensive multiplayer games um, because they are actively updating their fan base. I would even throw uh, Fall Guys in there. It gets pretty often updates. But granted, yeah. I, this, oh, this, yeah. this, this, is a, this is a story we haven't touched on, but they are not a 30 team anymore. They're like 150. That's, that's, we'll but save like, that for next week. But like mm-hmm. from the start, Fall, oh, oh, excuse me. Fall Guys was like a small team of people and they were actively updating it and like adding costumes and adding levels and adding seasons. Mm-hmm. I just appreciate when these, when these, big teams or when these not not big big teams are honest they're like hey look we're only like seven or eight people they're like we know that this isn't coming out soon but we at least want to keep you up, up updated on on what we are doing 